MAS workers say a police report has never been filed on the dog, so they have no record of the animal being dangerous. On top of that, the dog was up to date on his shots, so they had no reason to take the dog away. All I heard was my mom screaming because she ran in the backyard. So I ran out there and all I saw was him on the ground. 15-year-old Josue Amparan is talking about his younger brother, Alex. He was mauled by a pit bull Wednesday afternoon. Without hesitating, Josue kicked the dog to save his brother. I was just trying to protect him. Neighbors say the white pit bull jumped that far fence, came all the way over here and jumped the second fence right into the five-year-old's backyard. Nearly a dozen kids were playing in the yard when the pit bull attacked. Alex Amparan's arm is still swollen, bruised, and has stitches. This is definitely a vicious dog. It's bit, bitten three people. There was an older man there that was out back one day eating, and the dog ran up on him and bit his leg. I went to the dog owner's home to get answers. After I knocked, she came to the window and shut her blinds. MAS says the owner did volunteer to have her dog quarantined for 10 days in a private shelter. Then it'll be released. Parents say that's not good enough. It makes me feel very scared. I feel that by putting that dog back in its owner's care, that it is a threat to the neighborhood, not just this cove, but the entire neighborhood. The pit bull owner did get cited for having her dog or not having her dog neutered. Now she's expected to appear in court April 2nd. Jackie Orozco, ABC 24 News.